if you're in the process of converting your client facing reports into data studio reports, you might be missing text based tables. Those tables that aren't metric based that just have words that are so easy to build out in PowerPoint or Keynote or Excel. Um, it's not as easy to get that in Data Studio, but the good news is you can. I'm Amy Hebden with Paid Search Magic, and I'm going to show you how to build out a text based table directly in Data Studio. So here I've got a Google Sheet that basically has an outline of a strategy that I would want to include in a client facing report so we can um, just have this as part of our process that we review the goals and the segments and the objectives of what we're even trying to do. Uh, and that's not always very easy to know how to import into Data Studio. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So in order to get the data imported into Data Studio, it needs to live in your data source. So in this instance, I've already created a data source for our campaign strategy document. I've already imported it. If you need help um, knowing how to import a data source, it's available on a in that video, I'll link it here. But once we're over in our Data Studio report, and I've added a chart, there's a few things we have to do in order to get things to match up. Um, so just by default, since this is a new, uh, a new data source, I've got all these invalid dimensions. And so what I'm going to do is just take my available fields, and these are just directly from uh, that campaign strategy that I already had in Google Sheets, and I'm just going to start dragging them over here into the dimension. I'm just going to get them in the order that I want here. Um, I'm going to get rid of the things that say invalid dimension because that's what's causing my table configuration to be incomplete. So I'm going to get rid of the metric, which I can do, and it's automatically going to um, start showing me the data. Now, down here, it, it already had sort. If this had the wrong information, it would still show an error. So you want to make sure that everything has a valid dimension in it or else it's going to not let you have access to the data that you're looking for. So be sure that everything is green and not red and you'll be in good shape. Now there's a few things I can do once I have my table to start um, to start moving information around and I'm going to start to format it over in style. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and keep the header. I want to change the colors. I'm going to make this like a dark gray background. Um, and I want to have an even row color. Mm, let's do like a light gray, just to make it a little bit easier to read. Um, I'm going to get rid of the row numbers because that doesn't really correlate with, with what I want to show. And I am going to go ahead and wrap the text. Um, I'm going to get rid of the pagination down here because I want to have everything fit uh, directly on my table without having additional information. So I'm just going to drag that down. And let's see. All right. So I don't want to have a summary row. I'm good with how I have this set up now. I thought I had selected wrap text for some reason. Maybe I need to go back and wrap. Yep, I need to wrap the header. See, there we go. So that's looking good. I'm going to go into view and see how that looks. So I've got all my information here. That was directly what I had in my Google Sheet. Um, and it's just directly imported now into my data studio. It's that easy. So give this video a like if it was helpful. If you have questions or requests for additional videos, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to get more videos about how you can make improvements to your Data Studio reports and dashboards. Thanks so much.